Spice Rack, where you at? You talking to me? Oh, oh. Let me tell you right then. Y'all, when I tell you, let's break out here in some light. When I tell you it has been a crazy six months, that ain't even really true because it hasn't been crazy the whole six months. Just a few blips in the six months have been crazy, but I can't even believe that it's almost been five months since I talked to y'all. So, the last time we really was talking and vlogging, I was seeing y'all almost every day was when I was in Japan and I had the best time ever me my auntie my two cousins we had such a good time and I showed you a lot of it I couldn't show you all of it and honestly I had so much footage that I was showing y'all videos from the trip a whole month after I had been back home you know what I'm saying which was cool because I needed a break I was tired I was exhausted this vlogging mess when I tell you I have so much respect for everyday vloggers, it's a lot of work. Um, having the right equipment, having enough batteries, having enough SD cards, like, especially while you're traveling, like, it was a lot. So, I didn't do the best at it, but I tried and I did as much as I could and I was giving y'all non-stop, like, every week you had three videos from Japan. And at first everybody was all about it and then I think it just started to kind of like, hmm, yeah, well, we've seen it, we've been there, done that, you know what I mean? Which I totally get. So, that kind of prompted me just to take a, a little bit of a break to kind of figure out what I wanted to do because I knew that everyday vlogging was not the thing. Uh, Chloe, can we come in so we can finish our broadcast, please? You hear the man making all this noise? Come on. I'm waiting for you. She's taking her sweet time. Don't she know we got a video to shoot? And yes, Chloe's doing well. I think, I don't even know if you guys know. I can't remember because in the last few months, my baby has gone blind in one of her eyes. So she has a cloudy eye and she's been really adjusting, trying to see and it has been a struggle for both of us because now that she can't see that well, I swear, she stays up under me so much that she uses me as her seeing eye dog. I'm her service animal. It be driving me nuts. Cause she, I'd be like, can I get a, can I have some space please? Ma'am, no. So anyway, I was taking a break, kind of trying to figure out what I wanted my channel to be because I think that I kind of got, I got lost in the sauce a little bit. I wasn't really sure what angles I wanted to do, all of that kind of stuff. So I was just planning to take a quick regroup break and get back. Well, I was home for about a month from Japan and then when it was time for me to get back, I was going to, to California. So the next video you would see, have seen with me being going to California. And I kind of felt some kind of way because I felt like that was portraying it like I just was big balling, taking flights. You know what I'm talking about? And that's not the case. That, that trip was actually paid for and planned before Japan. And it just so happened that because I had all that Japan footage, I was going there. Plus, when I got to Cali and I was picking up the camera, I just was like, I'm not ready. And I wanted to just enjoy myself with my brother, my sister, and his girlfriend. And we did have a good time. So that was in May. Now then, middle of May, that was, the, yeah, middle of May I was in California and we were there for just like a long weekend, four days or something like that. So then when I came back, I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I had started writing my list down. These are the videos I'm going to shoot. This is how we're going to do it. Babe's going to be in a few of them because I wanted to get him more involved because that was really the reason I started the videos in the first place. So I wanted to get back to that. So we, you know, we had started doing some filming and I even had done quite a few videos about at the time I had 90 days until I was gonna hit my one year surge anniversary for my weight loss surgery. And I was gonna have all these things. If you, if you guys follow my Instagram, which I hope you do, if not, check it out. Um, I have been doing that on there. Now I did fall off on that too, but you would at least know that that, was a, that really did happen. And I had planned to share a lot of that with you guys because I was doing more workouts, I was showing what I was eating, just kind of getting ready to try to hit 100 pounds lost in my 90 days left till, uh, till um, my surge anniversary. Well, that didn't happen. Um, I was doing really good for about two weeks, and sadly to say, um, June 5th, my grandma passed away. 
Now this is the grandma I, you guys, I posted on here and you guys were sending her all this birthday love when, on her 92nd birthday. Which totally made her day. She thought she was famous. It was so cute. But yeah, she passed away um, pretty suddenly. I mean, granted she was 92. Fortunately, she had no like severe health problems. She had some ongoing things, but it wasn't like she was in pain or suffering or anything. So I'm really grateful for that. But she literally uh, woke up that morning. I uh, believe had breakfast, was taking, sitting down in her chair, fell asleep, and just never woke up. So, I mean, if I had to pick a way for someone to pass, that's the most amazing way you could go. You know what I mean? You lived till you're 92, you didn't suffer any hardships or any bad pain, you just pass in your sleep. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, and that kind of sent me on a, not really a spiral. I can't say that, but it did kind of have me in my feelings a little bit. Uh, I was sad because I missed her. I was, feel, I felt guilty because I was a little relieved because I was always so worried about her and just not having to be worried. And I struggled with feeling that and not knowing if that was okay to feel and it, just some stuff, right? So on top of that, um, you know, babe, he comes home in less than a year. And so I, was um, talking to him about some things and he had mentioned like yeah when they come they typically ask the landlord if I can be there so on top of dealing with my grandma passing and just some other like life stuff uh, I asked my landlord you know is it cool I have a family member coming home blah 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 this is the deal and they said well as long as it still shows up on his background check then no he was not allowed to stay there so I ran his background check to see because I'm like it's 20 years it should be gone you have to actually make it go away. You have to go through the process, through the courts, to get it expunged, blah, blah, blah. So even though it's been a 20-year-old crime, um, the fact that it's still on the background check, my landlord said, no, he can't live here. So that prompted, which I kind of was already in the mix of, looking for a new place to stay, and I really was like, I'm going to just buy something because I don't ever want someone to tell him he can't stay here unless it's me. Ew. You know what I'm saying? So I started to go through that whole thing. And it just kind of, I think I got a little overwhelmed because I, I, I'm good at this. It's not really um, feeling what's going on at the moment. It takes me a little while to like for it to catch up. I'm, I'm kind of slow. I mean, like I know it happens, but it's not until like a two or three week later that I'm like, oh my God, my grandma's gone. And it really hit me because like something that I always would do, like it, it has to be a routine that kind of stops me. Have a specific client that lived right around the corner from where she stayed. So on that day when I'd see that client, I'd go and see my grandma. And when I couldn't do that or realize that that was not a possibility, um, it just kind of threw me off, you know? Cause I'm seeing her every week. I'm checking on her all the time. She's calling me all the time that she, on Saturdays, like, I, it did never failed. I could wait to take my nap later in the day or do a first thing in the morning early in the day, and my grandma would wake me up every single Saturday, like, clockwork. When those things stopped happening, it just kind of shook me a little bit. And I just needed more time. And unfortunately, that meant I kind of pushed you guys to the side. Now, did I forget y'all? No. Was I thinking about y'all? Yes. There's some of y'all that we would talk often that I've reached out to. I'm like, hey, girl, what's going on? And some of y'all have reached out to me just like checking on you. How are things going? And I really appreciate that. Like, I really do. So it started me. I mean, I started looking for houses and this market. Okay. I live in Tacoma. And Tacoma has always been like this city that nobody really wants to live in it's kind of got a bad rap for being dangerous and crime and blah 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 okay which every city has it i don't think tacoma has any more crime than other cities there's certain like pockets that may have some more like crazy things go going on but in general it's i feel safe here you know well all my life nobody wanted to live here especially them folks did not want to live in tacoma the ones that have some money well, now that the economy is doing so great and the housing market's going crazy and Seattle is ridiculous, you cannot afford to live there unless you're making tons and tons of money, they're pushed down. People are being pushed down south towards my way. And now this, this Tacoma housing market, y'all probably even seen it on the news, we're like one of the top, na uh, top cities in the nation for housing. And that's just made our housing prices skyrocket. 
And I'm just like, I have lived here all my life and nobody wanted to live here. I could get something really cheap. My money, your money goes far here. Now, girl, they was looking at my money like, <laughs> that's cute. What you gonna do with that? I'm like, what am I about to do? So I've been looking and I used a friend as a realtor and honestly, I will never do that again because business needs to be kept business and I don't have time for this crossing over like sometimes you're my friend in this instance and other times I need you to be my realtor but you acted like my friend, like I need you to be my realtor. So um, that was just kind of a stressful process and I was kind of over it because not only was it stressful, the communication with the realtor was not great and the housing market was crazy and every time we put in an offer it would get like shut down and not by like a little bit people were overbidding thousands and thousands of dollars which were making me just not compatible or compatible? competitive <laughs> was making me completely not competitive so that was kind of a stress and because I was a little stressed and strained um, I took that out on my boo and me and him had a little bit of a time too so you know all these little pieces of my life were just happening and I just was like, let me just get my life back on track before I try to get back in this YouTube game because thinking about doing YouTube with all this going on was just like, didn't even sound fun. So, here I am. I'm back. Things have calmed down. I am still in, uh, you know, kind of an ex exploration phase of what this next chapter of my life is, but I had to stop and just remember, like, enjoy it. And the whole time I've been praying for God, for God to just really put what I need in front of me. Like make this clear that this is the direction I'm supposed to go. I see that these houses, they're asking all this money and I can't afford it. I know that you have to provide the house for me. So I'm happy to say that as of today, I am an owner of a new home. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. When I tell you he worked it out for your girl, you this story is so crazy that I'm gonna probably have to tell you another time because this video is getting long. But he worked it out for your girl. Like the way he orchestrated this whole deal and me it working out in my favor and I'm like actually getting cash back. What? I, I can't even wait to tell y'all this story. So that is the good news. As of today, I am a homeowner slash landlord. Are you, do you have some suspense? Do you want to know what I'm talking about? Well, stay tuned because I will fill you in on the next video, y'all. This was just for me to come back, fill you in, catch you up on what's going on, but you will see me more. I'm not sure I can come back three days a week yet because I have to move. I've got to pack. I've got things to do, but I'm going to try. So... I miss you guys. And if you are not a part of the Spice Rack, because I don't know what you're waiting for, because listen, I know we've been on a break, but we have fun over here. So come on, push that like button, hit the subscribe button, share it out. Tell all the people you know about your girl and what we're doing over here on the Spice Rack. And I will be back at you guys soon. Spice Rack, you know I love y'all. Y'all the real ones. And I'm so glad to share the rest of my story with y'all. I will talk to you later. Bye guys!